The exhibition is called Trial by Fire and it's composed of several pieces that I've been working on over the last few years. The main piece in the exhibition is the Tears of Joy and we've also got uh, s some work that I did for Ferrari and also in the exhibition are the Fantasia vases. What really compels me when I'm working with any series of creating these pieces and creating so many of them, it's knowing that when we put you know, hundreds of pieces together or dozens of pieces together or even three pieces together, knowing that we're going to be making this, this piece in a completion of not just one, but multiple pieces coming together into one. I've been waiting My heart and reason for living life And I've walked along these roads Bare feet and all I've been given so much love Never seems to stop when my eyes are open, I see the truth is known. So let me tell you what I found and what I've been shown. Well, we're in this together, yeah. We gotta play as a team. There ain't no storm we can't weather And I know It's all about belief We created the Tears of Joy at the Toledo Museum of Art with a performance that I call Glass Experience. And pretty much we're demonstrating how glass has revolutionized our lives over the last thousands of years and how it continues to, you know. I mean, fiber optics are, are running all over this planet, transforming information. I'm not sure exactly what what inspires me to want to do the things that I do, but when I created the first Tears of Joy, I knew, I knew that there was potential to create these pieces fast, and with a team, I could create an enormous amount of them and be able to do something, not just with the glass, but with the performance that was far beyond what's ever been done with the material. I love the rush of performing. You know, I've played music my whole life and I've used uh, music as an outlet, as a creative outlet for me to, uh, to, to work with. With the Tears of Joy, you know, we're taking hundreds of components. Every one of them is different and has its own unique identity, but we're bringing it all together and creating this one special piece. The overall success of Tears of Joy is not necessarily this one component that was real sophisticated with the color patterning or this one that was 15 feet long. It's, it's when we brought all these pieces together to create the one piece. My expectations continued to change and evolve and I really had no idea what to expect. Ultimately, what I wanted to happen in this performance was to be able to spread the message of when we work together that we can accomplish great things. In the end, that's what we were able to do, you know, by creating this piece with hundreds of, of components and doing it in such a fast amount of time, we were able to not only educate the, the history behind, you know, what has been 
transformed and, and done through the material over the last few thousand years, what can be done now with it also? The Ferrari Vetro bottles were a series that I started uh, two years ago in 2009 when Ferrari North America called me and asked me to create some unique works for their race, the Ferrari Challenge, in this upcoming year. I ended up creating about 175 of these pieces and fortunately they were open to the idea of making every single one of them unique. So I used Venetian techniques to create these pieces but put my own twist on it by blowing the glass so thin and allowing gravity to shape it and to collapse and form the vessel that it becomes kind of a really defined but at the same time loose shape and, and piece. When Ferrari called me, they really didn't have any idea as far as design. They said, what can you come up with? And so I had already been working on the Vetro Bottle series, and I thought this would be a, a fantastic shape to use for their trophies. You know, red is one of the most difficult colors to actually get rich and, and vibrant and true. The creation of vessels really has been going on for thousands of years. Pooling canes, stretching rods, and then rolling them up on a bubble. It's been centuries that they've been making glass this way, and the Venetians really perfected it. And one of the styles that I use a lot is Venetian glass making techniques. But what I do is really change the form, I make them real dramatic. When I start a piece, no matter what it is, I definitely have a vision. The challenge is when you begin to step it up to beyond a couple feet and bring it to three, four, five feet, is just the, the amount of leverage and the amount of heat that begins to come off of the piece. I'm not always thinking in the end as far as which way I'm going to display it, what I'm going to call it. With the Fantasias, you know, I started working on them. I made maybe a dozen or a couple dozen of them and an exhibition was coming up that I was going to be a part of and so I decided to, to group a trio together, which is pretty much what I do with these pieces. I group them and they play off of one another. And so when I got to the gallery, I still didn't have a name. I was going to call it Untitled. And one of the guys that was hanging, hanging around and, and just kind of observing things, he said, you know, they kind of remind me of Fantasia. And I, I, lo I love the name Fantasia. And so it, it just kind of stuck. And then years later, which is up to, up to now, I ended up discovering an artist that I really admire. And she sings a song, Nella Fantasia. And it, which translates into in, into my fantasy, and that really spoke spoke home to me. The common thread with all this work, the tears of joy, the Ferrari bottles, the Fantasias, you know, it's really all of these pieces coming together and working together as a whole. The groups end up being together because I think the significance of the final piece is really determined by every every piece playing off of one another you know they're great to be to, to be able to stand alone but they're 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 not nearly as uh, as powerful as they are together and i i don't create the glass to necessarily make powerful glass but i feel like when i group uh, all these components together that they become the strongest they're much more significant than they could be on their own.